In this project, I'm gonna use this yarn. This is from Drops Delight. So this is a sock wool. You can use any yarn you like, it doesn't matter. 3.5 millimeter hook. It's weight length, 50 gram. Color is number 12. So as you can see, it's already less here because I already made this part. So this is what we're going to do. I really love the color combination of this yarn. To begin, I'm going to make a slip knot. Like that and pull. I'm going to make a chain of 55, 5, 5, so yarn over and pull through in that loop in the hook. Like that. Yarn over and pull through again. That is my second chain. Yarn over and pull through. That's my third chain. There's some hairs here stuck. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So go ahead, make a chain multiple of five. So I'm gonna chain 55. So go ahead, do that, and I'm gonna meet you once I'm done. And 55. So I have here a chain of 55 in total. So now I'm going to make one double crochet in the four chain from the hook. So if this is your first time making a double crochet, it goes like this, yarn over and then go to the four chain from your hook, one, two, three, and four. Insert your hook and then we're going to yarn over and grab that yarn and pull, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So this is my first double crochet and this is my second double crochet. And then one double crochet in the next stitch, which is this one, or next chain. Insert your hook there and repeat. Yarn over and pull, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So I will just repeat that one in each of the chain until the very first chain. So I forget to tell you that if you want to change the size of this hat, you have to add more chain to get your size. So to get this one, we are working from here all the way up here. Here we are starting in the beginning of this one and then working all the way to the top. So to get your size, you just have to add more chain. This is measures. This is from your forehead all the way to the top of your head so that is the height and then we're gonna fold it later like this I'm gonna turn it like this and we're gonna fold it like this just to show you how to get the size of your hat and that it's easier for you to get your size so let's continue making one double crochet in each of the chain I am here in my last chain. I'm gonna make my last double crochet. I have here a total of 53 double crochet. That depends how many chains you have in your round one. And this is how it looks like once you're done with round two. Round three, chain three, one two and three turn your work around then here we're going to make a one front post double crochet if this is your first time making a front post double crochet this goes like this yarn over skip the very first double crochet and then go to the next double crochet this one 
the second double crochet insert your hook like this lifting this double crochet up that's why it's called front because it's in the front in front of you and then make one double crochet yarn over and pull yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two that is our first front post double crochet one front post double crochet in the second a double crochet in the previous round and then now we're going to make a one back post double crochet like this yarn over insert your hook at the back and take that double crochet the next one and then lift that up from the back and then yarn over and pull yarn over and pull for two yarn over and pull for two so that's it that's how what we're just going to do in this pattern until the last double crochet alternating one front post double crochet and one back post double crochet so now one front post double crochet in the next previous double crochet yarn over insert your hook in the front post make one double crochet there like that now one back post in the next previous double crochet yarn over insert your hook in the back post of that double crochet and make one double crochet and then and repeating that alternating one front post and one back post in each of the double crochet one front post, one back post, until the very last double crochet and this is how it looks like. I really like this kind of stitches, one of my favorite. So go ahead do that and I'm gonna meet you once I'm done. two double crochet I'm gonna make my back post a front post double crochet since I already have a back post double crochet here and now front post in the second last double crochet and then here my last double crochet I'm gonna make one back post so just insert your hip like that here and then make one back post double crochet just alternating it so that it's easier and this is how it look like for the back post and front post double crochet so the number of stitches in round two should be the same in round three which is 53 stitches for me and this is your work should look like round four chain three one two three turn and then here we're going to make one back post double crochet in the second back post double crochet so we're not going to start here in this first post here but we are always going to start in the second stitch or in the second post so our previous post is now back post so we're going to start in the back post this time so insert your hook in the back and make one double crochet and then one front post double crochet in the next since our previous po post is front post and then one back post since our previous post is in the back post and make one back post double crochet one front post double crochet in the previous front post double crochet so just like that then one back post double crochet in the previous back post double crochet 
Repeat that until the last post. One front post, one back post, one front post. The only difference of this one is you insert the hook in a back post and front post. I am here in my last double crochet. Now I am done with back post double crochet. Now I'm going to make a front post double crochet in the last double crochet here. Just like that, very easy. And this is how you, your work should look like in round um, four. One, two, three, four. I really liked it. Round five, chain three, one, two, and three, turn work around. And then here, this time we're going to have, or we're going to start with a front post double crochet. So like I said, we always have to start in the second post. So yarn over and go to the second post in the front, since we have a front post in the previous round. One back post in the previous back post double crochet. Wait. One front post in the previous front front post double crochet. One back post in the previous back post double crochet and then we're just gonna repeat that until the very last um, stitch or the last post so like here and once you're done until you get talent you want and this is how your work should look like and here I'm gonna continue that one showing you now front post double crochet here and then back po a uh, front post sorry and then the last one is the back post double crochet and this is your work should look like we're going to fold this like this once you're done, we're gonna connect this part here. This is my last stitch, like that, connecting here. So I'm gonna insert my hook in the same stitch, in the very first stitch. Wait, let me put that closer so you can see it clearly. So here in the very first stitch, insert your hook on the top, and then insert your hook in the bottom, in the very first stitch. So I have here one on the third chain in the bottom for me. That's my first stitch in the bottom. And then yarn over and pull through and through in that loop in your hook. And then go to the next stitch on the top. Go to the next stitch in the bottom in this next stitch. Yarn over and pull and slip stitch. Sorry, I'm just going to repeat that in each of the stitches until the last stitch. So this is just how I connect the opening here. So it's up to you how you connect yours. So repeat that until the last stitch. 
so this is how it look like once it is done connected and now I'm going to turn it like this and we're going to connect this opening here I'm going to cut the yarn so I'm gonna cut all the way until here I think it is enough a little bit up so I'm gonna insert my hook in each of the stitches here or in each of the double crochet yarn over and pull through in that loop and go in the next double crochet in the previous round the previous double crochet space grab that stitch I mean yarn and pull so this is how I'm picking up stitch insert your hook in the next double crochet here wait let me see if you can see that clearly and then grab that yarn and pull go to the next double crochet space oops sorry this one and pull I'm just going to go through in each of the double crochet you can go in each of two double crochet space it's up to you then here grab that yarn and pull go to the next grab that yarn and pull go to the next grab that yarn and pull so go ahead do that all the way around here i am in my last tip so i will just pull that together and then i have more of this now and continue and there you go it's done once you're done pull it until it is closed i like not to close it so much here like i want to leave it a little bit of opening maybe enough for my index finger to go through that so it's not so crumpled but actually it doesn't matter so just like that anyway okay and close not so tight i would say and then make a secure this remaining stitches like that and then hide the rest of that yarn or cut it already if you want so I will hide the rest of that yarn it's better for me to secure the stitches properly like that I'm going just in a random stitch to hide the stitch I mean to hide the rest of the yarn and like that go to the next and pull go to the next and pull and then cut if you have enough and then this will be the outside show you clearly this will be the out uh, this will be the inside of the hat since the slip stitch is here it's up to you if you want and then here this is my other side so this will be the outside of my hat so I really liked it so this was the one with this lip stitch here so you cannot really see it all it's very clean I love slip stitches if you're done if you don't want to add a pom-pom it's up to you for me I like to add a pom-pom so as you can see I can see my two fingers here which is I prefer it so it doesn't crumple the waist too much so it's okay for me and I will hide it with a pom-pom there it doesn't bother me at all so I love white since, um, since winter is coming so it's perfect I will insert my needle here in the very end in the bottom and go through so just like that if you can see that clearly and then pull like that make a few knots here 
it's up to you how you attach this one like that and then here I will go through in these stitches here so what I do is I will go here in any stitch on the top and then connect it on the other side and pull repeat go to the next here on the top here then here in the next so now the hole I'm closing it actually so it's okay and pull and then repeat and then once you have enough I will secure the remaining stitch here already one two three and pull one more time one two and pull and once you're done cut the rest of the yarn